2023 marked the eighth season of the Michelin Le Mans Cup. This Pro-Am championship took place over six rounds across Europe, among them the prestigious Road to Le Mans, the curtain raiser for the 24 hours. And it all started in April in Barcelona with 42 cars on the packed grid. Here comes the field, led by the pole man, James Sweetnam on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, the yellow car, Team Virage. That's Julian Jerby, but watch behind the Nielsen car, the lighter blue car, Tony Wells. Is he going to challenge for lead down into turn one? This is always tricky. He is. Through he goes. Now, if he can keep it tight, he can't. Side by side, they come out of turn two into the right-hander at turn three. Back in front, James Sweetnam, but... Up to second place is Tony Wilson. There's big trouble behind. Two into Europe old yellow cars there. Lots to clear up, and this is going to be a safety car. Here comes Tony Wells in the Nielsen car alongside the Graf Racing Machine. And down the inside, Julian German. Big look up from Tony Wells. He's got damage. Right rear. Now, is that a puncture or broken suspension? Either way, he's in the gravel at the bottom of the hill. Lead battle continues, Julian Turby with a yellow nose. That's the Team Virage car really leaning off the graph entry of James Sweetnam, the pole man. Runs out a little wide as they come down the hill though through the final corners. He is the new race leader. LMP3 cars out front, racing Spirit Le Mans, Aston Martin leading in the GT3 class. And it's close all the way. LMP3 cars in traffic, yellow and red, that's the number 11 from CD Sport, Shahan Haig Sarkassian, little moment for him, oh, and off has got the Lamborghini, that's the Leipzig Motorsport Lamborghini Huracan, there was a tag from behind, oh that's a disaster for the Leipzig team. Racing still in third place, chasing down M Racing in the final minutes. Cedric Holtzmar, oh, little mistake there. He's run out very wide on the marbles. Huge run out wide through the gravel. And that is going to cost him a podium spot. CD Sports number two car has just gone by. They started on the outside of the front row. They have made up one place. Julian Gerby and Guillaume Henrion are going to win the opening race of the season for Team Virage here in Barcelona. GT3 victory goes to Racing Spirit of Le Mans. Valentin Asseclo brings the Aston Martin to the flag. Started by Arna Robin. Team Virage, M Racing and CD Sport are on the overall podium. That's the top three in LMP3 as Racing Spirit of Le Mans beat Team Parker Racing's Porsche and AF Corsa's Ferrari to GT3 honours. Six cars failed to make it to the chequered flag, four of them in that first corner lap one incident. Delight for Team Virage. Victory in the season opener in Barcelona. And they head the standings after the first of half a dozen races in the season. Racing Spirit of Le Mans will carry victory and the top points haul as we head to Le Mans and the centenary celebrations. Road to Le Mans is different in every way. A very different racetrack, two races in the same weekend, and 58 cars on the packed grid. First of the two 55 minute races, Team Virage and WRT with the class poles. Race has started, race has started, no overtake before the line. Yellow Team Virage car, Martin Rich under pressure on the inside and on the outside. Who's coming through? Wayne Boyd for United, his first to the Dunlop chicane. Holds it all together. Virage down to third, but there are cars off everywhere in this bumper LMP3 field. Heading down to Tetru, somebody's kicking up the dirt. That's a number three DKR car, Alexander Bukatsov. And way back there comes our GT3 field. It's still the WRT BMW that leads. Coming down to the first chicane, yellow flags are out. There are cars off in the middle. The BMW with the blue, black and red. That's Valentino Rossi, GT3 leader and the pole sitter. Oh, and trouble in front of him. Cars spinning everywhere. And Valentino has had to take avoiding action. 
Rossi now attacking Russell Ward in the Windward Racing Mercedes. This is the battle for second place. Great recovery from the nine-time World Motorcycle Champion. He's been having good fun and good results in the BMW all season long. Driver change, Valentino Rossi handing over to Jerome Policon. Battle for fourth in LMP3 and contact! Andy Merrick trying to keep the door closed on David Drew in the cool racing machine, but there was an overlap he wasn't aware of and he got turned around a very hard hit in the wall. Valentino Rossi watching intently in the WRT garage, the battle for the lead in GT3 and his fuel back under real pressure now from the BMW of Max Hesse. That's the second of the team WRT cars. The HCR with Caffeine 6 Porsche just didn't quite have enough on the run down to the chicane and more trouble, that's Virage and that has brought the safety car out. Safety car has peeled off. We're heading to the checkered flag. The 58 Team Virage car, Manuel Espirito Santo, takes the checkered flag for race one at Le Mans. But their win did not last. Post race, they were penalized five seconds for safety car infringements. And that means that Nielsen Racing took the win. And the pole sitters win in GT3 as well. Timothy Wells started the job, Max Hesse finished it. The 37 WRT BMW victorious here in race one. <laughs> Confirmation of the result of race one. Team Virage, Nielsen and Team Thor on the top step of the podium. And GC3 pole sitters at WRT claim victory ahead of the Porsche of HCR with Caffeine 6 and Racing Spirit of Le Mans Aston. Race 2 for Road to Le Mans and it's the eve of the centenary Le Mans 24 hours. What a stage for the drivers. Sitter Fabian Mikkel, red and yellow, leads the field away for CD Sport WTM by Rinaldi Racing. Torsten Kratz gets the run up the inside, but around the outside, Cool Racing's Adrian Keeler. Has he got enough to take the lead? No, not quite. Torsten Kratz squeezes in front with the red, white, and black. Lots of jostling in the midfield. Huge LMP3 field and trouble. That's the race one winner for Team Virage, Martin Rich, spun around by Ben Stone of Inter Europol. On the left, the battle for sixth in LMP3, and that is James Sweetnam, Julian Jerby coming alongside in the yellow Virage car down into Mulsanne corner. Nice clean pass, Sweetnam under pressure from Felipe Lazer in the red and white car. They come off the corner three wide and it's into the barriers, the Virage car and the Fricadelli car as well. Trouble for James Sweetman and Graf Racing. Big crash for them. They were in the top 10. Thor Racing doing their pit stop under safety car, but was the pit lane open when they came in? That could be a problem. Battle for second in GT3. Valentino Rossi all over the back of the HCR Caffeine 6 Porsche of Anders Fjord back. Leaders under investigation for erratic driving. So this could end up being a pass for the lead. Team Thor heading towards the chequered flag, but they have got a penalty. They were too fast through the pits. They take the checker, but Cool Racing will win it. And Valentino Rossi in a 46 BMW wins at Le Mans. <laughs> Celebration in Team WRT's garage as the doctor claims victory. Team Thor's miscalculation handed the overall win to Cool Racing's 97 car. And 46, Valentino Rossi and Jerome Policar win in GT3 from Winwood's Mercedes and the HCR with Caffeine 6 Porsche. Road to Le Mans is maybe the big, biggest race of the championship. And at the same time, it's so many cars, so many events during the race. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, luckily we got through all the incidents and could uh, win the race. Cool Racing's Luis San Juan and David Drew win it from Torsten Kratz and Leonard Weiss for WTM by Rinaldi, Fabio Mikel and Kirill Small for CD Sport taking third.
It was a well-earned win for BMW, WRT and Valentino Rossi. We are, we are very happy because from yesterday we were strong, we have, we have the pace, but in the first race we, we, was, we were a bit unlucky. Uh, but today was okay, Jerome did a very good uh, work in the first stint and after I, I had a good, a good pace I was able to do some overtaking so it's a great victory. Rossi's first win at Le Mans, one of his favourite tracks since MotoGP in 2008. And a big red letter day for the ex-motorcycle ace. Nissan Le Mans Cup stayed in France for the third race weekend at the Circuit Paul Ricard Le Castellet and the weather was its traditional sweltering self. Cool racing, Sergeant Kila leading them across the line as they sweep down to the first corner here in Le Castellet. MV2S in second place and CD Sport trying to edge their way through into third and fourth. They don't quite do it. Looks like the Nielsen car might squeeze through. There's a couple of run off line. Always so congested here. And that's one, two, three, four cars off at the first corner. Fourth place battle in traffic. Alexander Bukans off for DKR number three and a big spin for the number two car, Fabian Mikal. The CD Sport car misses everybody, but goodness me, all over the place. That is not going to do the tyres any good. Julian Gerby handing over to Gilio Oriol, the winners from Barcelona. First the red and yellow CD Sport cars in sixth, the second one in eighth place. All trouble, that's Team Thor and the number two CD Sport car. Oh, and that's a disaster for Kirill Small. Here's our GT3 leader, Racing Spirits Le Mans, Aston, Valentin Asaclo going very slowly behind the full course yellow. He's pulling over. People are passing him now as he tries to get the car to power cycle and restart. He's rolling. No, oh, that's the Leipzig Lamborghini has just gone by, number 19. Well, he passed the Aston while it was stationary. What was he supposed to do? Just park and wait? So should not be a penalty, but that's a change for the lead. Out of luck at Le Mans, the winners in Barcelona become the winners in Le Castellet. Number 16 for Team Virage, Gilles Orion takes the checker and he and Julian Jerby have their second win of the season. Victory in GT3 for Leipzig Motorsport, the number 19 Lamborghini. Team Virage ahead of Cool Racing's 87 car and in third place, 360 ahead of Team Thor. And with that victory for Leipert, Lamborghini have their first win of the season ahead of Racing Spirit of Mans Aston and the 63 Iron Links Porsche. The championship in GT3 and LMP3 is certainly hotting up. Gilles <laughs> Oriol celebrates with Julian Gerby. That was an amazing race. We managed to keep uh, to keep the, the gap and uh, and we win. So I'm super happy. Off the podium, 360 racing picked up a 10 second time penalty. So Team Thor end up with the points for third place. Leipzig Motorsport claimed GT3. We were pushing all the way. If we didn't push, the Aston, even if he had the problem, he would have stayed in in front. So I never give up. You never know what can happen. And today was the perfect example. Castellet may have been hot, but Motorland Aragon in August was absolutely steaming. United Autosports, Josh Cagill leads the field away from the Murphy Prototypes machine of Torsten Kratz. 360 Racing's Mark Richards looks between them, now he looks inside. And the two Virage cars are right there. Julian Gerby on the outside line, but from row three at the grid, Oscar Pita. Oh, and there's trouble behind. Half a dozen cars off there, it looks like. CD Sport into Europol, cool racing. Battle of the sixth in GT3. Gabriel Rindoni with the lime flashes on the Leipzig Lamborghini under pressure from behind. Thomas Anderson sends it down the inside into turn one. 
shoves the Lamborghini out wide and here comes the Stella Motorsport Audi with the red and orange on the white background trying to get in on the action. Back to green flag racing after the safety car. United leads closely followed by, well, everybody else. Real bunched up pack here. Klaus Avalon loses it under braking around the outside in a Frickadelli Motorsport car. Lead battle in TC3, round the outside comes the Porsche, Timothy Cresswick in the pink and purple HCR caffeine six machine. Goes by Team Parker's Alex Martin. Good pass. Matt Bell sizing up the race leader, Dillion Orion for Team Virage. They're looking for their third win, but around the outside goes the Nielsen Racing number four car. That's a good outside pass there as well. Jubilation in the garage. Clock is ticking down. How quickly does Matt Bell get to the line? Nielsen Racing might have to do another lap, and you never really want to do that. He's timed it to perfection. Time has run out. And they claim their first win of the season. Nielsen Racing, number four. HCR, first GT3 to the flag, but the flashing headlights, Kai Cozzolino wins it for AF Corsa after a penalty for the HCR Caffeine 6 machine. No dramas for Nielsen. They win it from Team Virage and Team Thor with AF Corsa coming out on top in GT3 ahead of HCR with Caffeine 6 and Racing Spirit of the Mall but it was a race of major attrition in Aragon. We've certainly got a very good car at the moment and it should be a good car for Spa, so yeah, I'd like to see uh, on the podium at Spa for sure. Celebrations for Nielsen Racing, Team Virage and Team Thor. GT3 win for Koizumi Hiroshi and Kai Cozzolino. Unfortunately, the Porsche that was in P1 had a five second penalty, so I just had to keep it there in my position. Uh, no, no pressure, so I just had to bring the car back home. First Ferrari win of the season and victory for the all Japanese lineup. Spa Francorchamps round five, the penultimate race weekend of the series. Nielsen's Tony Wells leads them around from pole position alongside Peter de Curtens in the yellow Hagley by T2 racing machine. Down to La Source, the first corner there. Four, five, maybe six wide behind. Team Thor on the inside and there's contact around go two Virage cars and the cool racing machine. Three more cars in trouble in the gravel. More contact. Cars spinning around wildly trying to rejoin. What a disastrous start. John Nelson in the Nielsen car under pressure. Oh, contact! That's Erwin Creed has hit him from behind, and that is a big impact. Car still bunched everywhere after the safety car. This is the battle just outside the top 10, about half a dozen cars here. Two by two, they go through. Everybody's safety. Oh, no contact! Into Europol spinning around, Nicholas Schatz and CD Sports Franck Chapard can't avoid him. Lead battle, Tommy Foster for 360, Wayne Boyd for United and just behind DKR, the orange highlights, that's Jamie Winslow. This is your one, two, three. Up at the top of the hill, sweeping around the outside, good move by Wayne Boyd. Classic spa pass there at the top of the hill at Lake Homme. Jamie Winslow for DKR coming under pressure. Cool Racing Team Thor and Nielsen queuing up behind. Oh, problem for Nielsen. And that is a huge hit in the barriers for Josh Skelton. That car is wrecked. Inside the final three minutes, top five in GT3 altogether. There's the Ferrari in third. Leipert Lamborghini right behind, coming out of Bruxelles, looking to dive down the inside. That's Patrick Kujula on Kai Cozzolino, who gets stuck in the gravel. Scott Morvan whizzes by. Checker flag, oh wait, United Autosport. Car number 23, their first win of the season as Wayne Boyd brings the car to the checkered flag in Spa. Nice job, mate. Nice job. United back on form, and John Sharman is absolutely jubilant. GMB claim victory in GT3 with the Honda. United Autosports, Cool Racing, and CD Sport at the top of the LMP3 pile. GMB ahead of Stella's Audi and Leibert's Lamborghini in GT3. Another tough race, though, fewer than 30 cars making it through to the finish. Despite being pushed off the grid before the start, United came out on top in Spa.
I wanted to get a little coffee, so we stopped in pit lane. But no, when we pulled to the grid, we had a little hole in a uh, water water tube, and so the guys were so fast, they ran out. They pushed the car all the way back to the pits. They had to take off the, the back of the engine, change out the tube, and then I had to wait for everybody to go by. But the safety car allowed us to get caught up to the back. A remarkable pit lane start to victory story for United Autosports. A fairy story not for GMB's Honda as they lost their win post-race in GT3, but for newcomers Stella Motorsport in their first season, Mark Cole and Senan Fielding claimed their first win with the Audi. The traditional season finale at Portimao in Portugal in very non-traditional weather. Points leaders Team Virage number 16 would lead the field away in streamy wet conditions with Team Parker claiming the GT3 pole. Green flag, green flag. Here we go, green flag racing then. Julian Jerby leads up the hill right behind him. Shahan Sakisian and everybody else trying to find a clear view through the murk. There's the Murphy's prototype machine down the inside in eighth place across the line. Looking to try and make up a spot. Everybody scrabbling for grip and visibility here. And it's going to be just as bad in the GT3 field as well. Julian Jerby with CD Sports. Shahan Sakisian right behind him. He's in the slipstream. He can at least see where he's going. Now he really can as he pulls out of the slipstream and out of the spray, but he doesn't trust the inside line enough. That's probably judicious this early in the race. In the gloom, looks like a change for third place coming up. Tim Creswick on the inside of Arnold Rabat in the Aston Martin for Racing Spirit of Lemon. And the HCR Caffeine 6 Porsche does slip through. To the braking area for turn three. The Aston looks at the outside. Oh, now look, he's cut right across to the right hand side. He's feed off the corner, giving himself a, a good run up the hill. Is that going to help him? Yes, it is. Look at that. Really got some drive there off the corner. Comes back down past the Porsche into turn five, and he's grabbed third position right back. Race leader is off. Julian Jerby, the championship leader in the gravel. Yellow at turn eight. So what happens? Oh, collected from behind by Torsten Kratz in a Murphy Prototypes car. Disaster. The weather is getting worse again. Here's the battle for second. United Auto Sports, John Shaman. Right behind him, the bright yellow and red. That is from Chapar for CD Sport. Out of 13, Shaman very slow. Chapar straight down the inside. Has he got the grip to get inside? He does. And that means Chapar is now up to second. Safety cars out as they rescue the Team Parker Racing Porsche of Charles Bateman. Red flag, red flag. The race will not resume. That leaves Hiroshi Hamaguchi and Vincent Abril as the GT3 winners. All cars to follow the safety car into the pit lane. All cars to follow the safety car into the pit lane. Iron Lynx take GT3, Nielsen take LMP3. Josh Skelton and Tony Wells are handed victory after CD Sports number 11 car picks up a penalty for speeding under full course yellows. And Iron Lynx head and shoulders ahead of the GTE field, nearly in the top 10 overall in the appalling conditions. So Nielsen splashed to the final win of the season with CD Sport completing the podium with both cars. But in the points race, Second on the podium, not quite enough for CD Sport. Even getting fired off into the gravel wasn't enough to deny the Team Virage number 16 crew the championship. We got hit three times this year. Three times we had in the race zero point because we got hit by behind. And I, I just thought it was lost, so it's just fantastic. I, I'm so happy. In 2022, racing Spirit of Le Mans with the LMP3 champions. In 2023, they won GT3. They were always competitive and ended up with a 20-point advantage. Four brands in the top four. Aston Martin ahead of Ferrari, Porsche and Lamborghini. Another tough year of racing. 
and a nail-biting conclusion. Couldn't take risks. We had to stay on track. The weather conditions were very, very, very tricky. We did the job, though. Had a great race to finish the title. We were consistent, super happy for the team and for those who helped us to be part of the championship. Very, very happy. To the victors, the spoils at the end of season awards gala. And all thoughts now turn to 2024 as the season will get underway in April. And we will see you there. Julien, Orion, Julien, Gerbich. Well, yes, everybody, take and raise your trophy. And see you in 2024.